guys, this is Matthew Landis, and I'm here today to talk about two of my favorite things. A proper shave and a hot man. Let's go see if we can find one now. Hey, hot guy. Oh, hi. <laughs> I want to shave. Dirty and sweet out So as Rachel Ray would say, it's very important to wash your hands before doing anything. Whenever going from scrub to a clean shaven face, it's always good to start with roots. So what I'm doing is just going to remove the excess hair. That mustache looks, looks, so <laughs> looks so awesome. I love it. So the next step in the process after we've just removed all the hair is to do a proper cleanse in the face. So we're going to start with a good uh, facial cleanser. This is Ojabon. We sell it here. It's really important that we use hot water to wash his face and that his face stays moist. You don't like the word moist? <laughs> his face stays moist. To take our shaving cream. And one of the biggest mistakes people make is by using a cheap sort of shaving cream from Walmart. Like you don't really need anything that foams. A cream works better than a gel. So when shaving, it's always important to shave with the grain of the whiskers. so as not to irritate the skin. After you finish with the actual shave, it's really important to rinse with cold water. So really, as cold as you can stand it. This will help calm the pores. So to complete the process, we're gonna finish with a dual action aftershave balm, which has a moisturizer as well as a uh, calming uh, lotion. This saves you from having to buy two products. All right, to recap, if you want to shave like Matthew Landis, you got to follow these steps. First, you got to wash your face with hot water. Then, you're going to shave with a really good shave cream and follow the grain. Rinse with very cold water and use a good aftershave moisturizer. Good it was okay. So, I hope you learned something today, but more important than anything, I hope you had fun and I hope you come and check out the new studio, Blonde by Matthew Landis. Yeah.